Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild and as you can see I am in space. I found an asteroid that had some interesting uh, ores in it and I am tapping into them with drills. Mm, this is the setup. Again, I'm definitely winging it here. I have hidden two of the static drills, the standard ones in here. They should be working. I'm sorry if the sound is too loud. Um, this one is mining silver. The other one is mining gold. And we can just grab it from here if we want. There is a bit of iron in there because this one took a while to set up. So, next thing you can see that I completely uh, changed the thrust setup for the the Empress. Uh, I'm... I don't know. The glow of the super engines kind of irked me too much. And so I decided that I want to go and set them up as standard hydrogen thrusters. And a few of the super iron thrusters from Azimuth remastered in here so that it also would work if I don't have hydrogen anymore. This ship is not moving anyways too much. Um, so, what is this? I'm having trouble with textures. I'm, I don't know. This asteroid didn't load up for ages, the, the textures. I'm, I have to look into that. What is, what is happening there? And I found out that locking down stuff in your world definitely helps with the uh, with the simulation speed. So I kind of had this wild thing that I was back to where the simulation speed was and I was kind of happy with it. But I said mm, maybe let's try to to lock this stuff down and then ah, let's try to lock this stuff down and then hopefully we get some better simulation speed and it is definitely free floating monster things <laughs> that uh ruin the simulation speed it's like on mars with the two big uh land ships there basically it's it's yeah it's not nice i need to take this ship out because the thing we want to do is I want to get a refueling station for uranium in this area and um, I want to set up I, I don't know an advanced drill or a normal drill for uranium I found a nice place uh, that I already had basically but with a completely untapped uranium source and we will go there and see if we if we can if we can uh, get into that so that we can keep our fleet refueled so now the simulation speed should be bad again see this is it's 0 0.3 points of simulation speed that just go as soon as you unhook stuff like the the monster ships yeah I'm, I'm sorry for slowing it down already again but that's how that works um i will lock the ship down again once i'm uh once i'm set up i kind of want to use the candy cane as i always intended it and i can't figure out if i have put a built-in repair system in here i'm i should Usually I should, because that's kind of the thing that I want to... I, I need to be careful how to word this now. I want to use this thing to kind of be able to reach where I want to build and then have a built-in repair system in there so that I don't have to anchor the, the big ship so close to something... Uh, and then being able to use the build and repair systems of, of the ship here. So I, I want to have a point that is 
smaller than the big ship itself. So, um, the... So, Mars orbit, uh, up there, this is this station, where's the other one? The other one is down there, so 12 kilometers away, we have to go there with the big ship. I will do that uh, off camera because it is just this ship again. Moving it now is kind of a hassle, at least a bit. Uh, by the way, hydrogen thrust all around. And it works, it works remarkably well, but I am completely out of ice now. So that situation has to be solved, but that's on a, on a different menu, I say. Maybe we can bring in the, <clears throat> maybe we can bring in the ice freighter or the hydrogen freighter, we will see. Uh, let me, let me go and get to the uranium asteroid. I am at the asteroid and I just saw that this asteroid also has ice so I will build up um, a complete refueling station here. Um, the, this will provide ice, the, the Europa still stands as the hydrogen, uh, the hydrogen station that provides me with, with hydrogen. One maybe weird request that I had for, by the way, I'm using the external, uh, the, 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 this would need a nice name, an external cockpit right in the front of the, right in the front of the, of the candy cane, because I can use this to, uh, be a bit more precise and hopefully not ram anything i will set it up somewhere here so the ship is anchored to this part of the asteroid because you can see uranium on the right ice a bit up top one weird request that i kind of set for myself is to keep the arrival point uh, i have the the mars arrival point uh, it is there to keep that kind of in line with a connector, an eventual connector that I want to use. So I will build a structure around the asteroid to keep to keep a, a point or a connector somewhere in that direction. So that maybe if I can and if I if I don't know want to do that I could set up an automated ship that has an easy way getting to the connector without having to completely fly around this asteroid because the the Sam script sometimes messes up its its avoidance of uh, how, how to say it. it's it's the, the the it sometimes doesn't avoid um, asteroids so I, I don't want to test it the master arrival point will be the center basically of the whole thing where if something comes in it will come in there fly towards it uh, towards its destination and then maybe don't know fly away from there then again good I kind of want to bring in, I will put a drill onto there and then try if I can get a line up here uh, without having any bends, hinges or something like that. Maybe it's too dark. Everything is too dark. Sun needs to get around the whole thing now. So first we set up uranium. Um, I will go and try to set it up kind of this way. I hope the, the drill catches it immediately because <sighs> do I use an advanced or a normal static drill? The normal static drill is fast enough. It doesn't use up so much energy. It is not too loud. So I think I will go with that solution. So setting up a static drill. Um, 
maybe trying to get it up in line with anything. So we will set up a, a few blocks before. A few blocks before. Come on. Um, the static drills have a weird attachment point that kind of goes... It's not the... Um, the conveyor port itself. It is kind of the part next to it. Good. It found something. Now the question is, what did it find? So let us... It's already building it, so... Oh yeah, it seems it seems I've set it up the right way so that there is a built-in repair system somewhere in there. That's a good thing. So uh, we need a panel to see to see what it is grabbing. You can take a look at the static drills before and say what they are grabbing by just looking at the. Do I have the things static drill? It is grabbing extracting iron. It's in the middle of a uranium thing. So why are you not grabbing uranium, you... You weird thing. Um, three. Maybe if we try it that way. Now it's not grabbing anything because it's not set up in voxel. Yeah, this is, see, this is the, this is the main problem that I had to fight with the other thing too, that it kind of wants to, it wants to grab things, but it doesn't always want to grab what you want it to grab. It's, the red thing indicates that it is not not grabbing anything so now we have to get it absolutely right and nice so let's see okay now it's grabbing something but what is it grabbing uh, we can only hope that now it is grabbing what it is supposed to be the the drill will generally grab things kind of below it. it I think there's a, a range to it uh, if there is no resource below it it's still extracting iron if we try see it's grabbing ice from don't know 50 meters away why why, 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 why? Um... Okay, fine. We will... We will try... This. You... Why? You keep turning where I want you to turn, please. If we can set it up this way, then it hopefully ignores the stone and just grabs grabs the uranium that is next to it. Does this thing have its own... Oh, it has. Yes! <laughs> so, <laughs> never, never put it right into that thing, into the thing you wanted to grab. Put it right next to it. Maybe cheese it a bit. Good. Now the question is, we also want to grab the ice. So we need to have a line that kind of runs around the whole asteroid and then goes and grabs the, grabs the ice from the other side. Can we go around this side? Oh no. See, I'm. There is definitely texture problems, and I can't. I can't tell why the. The game is behaving. 
weirdly. I, I have changed settings in my BIOS that I maybe want to want to return to its original settings. Yeah, I will try to lead something around the asteroid so that I can reach the ice and maybe set up something there. Again, I don't want to use hinges. I don't want to uh, make it too complicated. Just a few curved straight lines uh, get up there. Um, let me do a bit of work and then keep the whole thing in line with Mars arrival. So it's better to do that than from yeah, from the other side, I say. So the ice thing will then have the connector close by. Um, I will encase this later. I don't need to do this now. Good. Let me put in some work, get this around, and then set up the drill on the other side. So I have set up the drill here. I have set up a run. It's not the nicest run of conveyors, and it could be short, shorter. I'm, I'm right now building the whole thing. I'm using the, <laughs> I'm using the Duchessa to extend the reach of the bars, um, and I will move once this side is done. I will move the Empress uh, around the block so that. Uh, I can deal with the the other side and again then build something there to have I don't know a few cargo containers uh, to store stuff because I want to set up a refinery here that deals with just the <clears throat> with just the the uranium so that I get basically the end product and I just have to come in uh, grab uranium and then I can go away again. The same for ice. I might even be a bit more specific than on the gold and silver thing. And by the way, I have gold and silver here too, but I will not tap into that. Mm. Be a bit more specific and set up sorters so that I have cargo containers for ice, cargo containers for uranium so that I don't have this if one of the containers runs full, I want the other be able to just take stuff in. For the gold and the silver, I don't really care. If there's more gold or there's more silver, then that it is that way. Uh, with again with uh, with uranium, I want dedicated storage so that that can purely fill up with uranium. Um. So, I'm setting up solar panels here with a solar rotor that I still have to set to uh, be a bit more... Uh, I will set up the inertia sensor, uh, inertia tensor up top, so it is just the top part that gets it. The the solar rotors then still work. I may haven't the the whole solar uh, the whole inertia tensor thing thing is in the game for so long now, and I still don't get it. And it's still vo voodoo magic to me where I just think I will click the button and see what happens. And oh, it stops wiggling. Uh, now it doesn't move anymore. Uh, unstop it from wiggling, and then see if I press another button and then it stops wiggling and again and it's the same with the solar rotors if I set up the bottom part so the first part it stops working and if I then yeah it, but if I don't have anything set up that whole thing will just wobble <laughs> and so I'm setting up just the 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 most the last part basically and then it doesn't wiggle and it still works so magic it's magic 
Good. The other side again untapped right now. Let me see if I need to move the Duchessa. Is it still building stuff? No. So let us move the Duchessa around a bit. So that that... Ugh, come on. Ugh, I've turned off the gravity here so that uh, it doesn't uh, interfere with the gravity of the Empress. Oh, why couldn't you? That's just... That was just out of reach. In space, I... Again, I, uh, the, the, the main thing I went to space is that I kind of want to get the... the... <laughs> the script tested that I found. Um, there is a server out there that does... Um, that does the expanse gameplay style and they are using a, they are using a script to have flip and burns and all that stuff and man i definitely want to test that and the the whole thing is always not that it is useful in space engineers because again you can't have gravity uh, by having constant thrust. So that sadly doesn't work. Um, but at least I want to have the the flight style of the Expanse. I, at least I want to test it. The problem will be it will not work with, I'm pretty sure, with any autopilots or something like that. Otherwise, I would, I think, constantly use it. By the way, this one, uh, this ice thing, immediately, I've set it up in the ice, and it seems the ice gear is thick enough to uh, immediately be recognized as ice, and then it started harvesting ice. Uh, or it it's not doing it right now, because I am have no I have no cargo, and the power situation is not completely solved yet. By the way, I'm using tiered solar panels. I don't want to have massive, massive solar panels on here. Um, and I'm thinking about setting up a reactor, although it's it's not really necessary. The, the refinery will run off of the solar panels, so do the drills. I think I don't need to set up a reactor. And I'm not sure how many if I want to go for... I don't need crazy amounts of refineries. I need one because this static drill is not pumping out uranium like crazy. And if I set up a refinery that had, has yield, I should be good. Sorry for the noise. I'm, um, I received a message. Good. Um, I will encase this drill and then go up top and do some work on the systems then again i will move the will move the empress up top once this is encased um i think i will not do anything with the line for now <sighs> i'm thinking this no, I'm, I've done that on the other side, maybe. I will have to do... I will have to do runs anyways and see if... If there's any damage to the whole line. I need... <laughs> the, the, these situations always show you what you need, kind of. And I, I really need a dedicated build ship and something that is not too big. So cargo build maybe good maneuverability so that I have a ship that I can use for maintenance maybe something I can dock to the Empress or something I'm I have to I have to think about this um, the changing changing the whole thing to be the, the, again with with the whole change of no voxel destruction I changed the whole tool set that I need, kind of. It is, it's a weird thing. I'm, everything basically is different then. You need different, 
yeah, different tools in your in in your pack. You need. Okay, this is. Ugh. I thought I would be good, but I need to go out. I need to go out to here, so I need this and then go around. The top is three. Okay, this is good. Um, and I, I need to now kind of finally accommodate to that. Um, the it is. I don't know. It's 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 my it's definitely my fault by always changing up the 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 idea of how I how I want to run my world. And I I don't know. <laughs> it finally it's finally catching up to me always. But I, I need to find solutions for that. I need to find a way now to have a, a ship that I can use to to build things. Not a welding ship. I really need a ship that is good for maintenance. And that is not too big. I always build too big. You know that already. And I need something small, something nimble, maybe with a jump drive so that I can get around, do maintenance, or maybe just have it close by on the Empress so that the Empress can can lug it around and then I Yeah. Again, things that that will hopefully come and I will hopefully find a nice and sweet solution for that. Good. Uh, let me finish this and then I will uh, do the whole switcheroo with the the Empress and then start on the main part. It's not the main part. The main side of the thing with the dock and with the, with the industrial part of the whole station. It's not a station. <laughs> Good. Back in a sec. I kind of still want to find a better power solution for this. My solar panel placement is kind of off. On the other hand, it, it might just work. I'm I'm having not so many things on here that use power and the amount of batteries is hopefully good. Um, I've added some solar panels on the sides. Uh, these things should catch again when the sun comes around and the one close to the uranium should do that too at the moment the sun goes away for that so this one took over and I hope it all works out I need to name the station and I need to bring up the antenna range I again I'm thinking about setting up some automatic systems at one point so then I will put I will put on uh, let me put on let me put on a programmable block somewhere the the proc block should be able to then run the necessary programs and I should be able to set that up from afar. Everything here should be in range of the COM satellite and the the anchor. So I'm I hope that I can then just steer everything from here and maybe set everything up from afar. That that should work out. So we have one refinery. It is absolutely capable of keeping up with the one static drill. The The amount of uranium coming in is low, 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 low. But it will over time be the thing that just uh, that just runs. I'm, I might be able to set up more of these stations 
uh, in the other areas, maybe around Earth, uh, around Dune and all that stuff, so that I eventually are able to just bring in stuff from wherever I am. For my next things, I will go in and start to have a ship that is able to build stuff for me. Maybe something that I can stock up automatically with Tim or with uh, Izzy's, uh, however it is called, Izzy's inventory manager. And I need a better freighter. I need something that I can automatically or by hand fly around, grab stuff bring back stuff to the Empress, bring back stuff to the to the asteroid base or wherever I just need it. It is it is time to do that, I have the feeling. I have that now with the hydrogen freighter, so I can do that there. But I also need that for stuff like cargo. I also found um, there is, where is it? Down there to the left, Mars orbit, uh, iron and iron and magnesium. I want to set something up for magnesium. I have iron and all the, the normal stuff I have a lot of, so I'm not rushing, but when it comes to magnesium, if I set something up with NPCs, I want to be able to feed a lot of magnesium into my guns. Um, we have large cargo here. This is far too much. Maybe not for ice, but at least for the uranium. It will never fill up. But on the other hand, we can't be too... Uh, see? The ice is already at 15k. The, the, we can't be careful enough. We have 15 or 18 units of uranium and 15k of ice. It's good. I can transport that into the ugh, into the Duchessa, into the into the Empress, and I'm pretty sure I will use it up. The uh, Empress is half empty on on hydrogen so I will do the dual approach with bringing in ice and bringing in the hydrogen freighter what is that SCDR commercial freighter okay you are at least not attacking me but stuff like that hopefully in the future will be in to yeah again do some assertive stuff or whatsoever I need some adversaries um, and then I need to think about setting up guns on these stations too um, I will stay in the area for a bit longer to set up the drill on the magnesium thing and then maybe find something where I mine stone or so and then just make that into the standard materials and uh, I need to also get cobalt and platinum. Ugh. Yeah, I need to set up drills for everything. I, I sadly don't have EEM in. That gives me... EEM has one massive super asteroid that gives you all the materials if you want. Um, I don't have that. So I, I should be good. Um... I need to find individual asteroids for that. It's uh, it's at least that that kind of <laughs> work I need to do, flying around finding the stuff. Good, but I think this is set up well. I've routed this so this doesn't need to store anything else. It just stores the materials and is just able to put out the materials. Um, everything should be connected up the right way i might consider changing the routing for the uh for the uranium drill because i'm i'm a lot closer to this than i thought and i went 
around basically half of the asteroid. I could route it this way, but on the other hand, it doesn't really matter. Good, but people, I think that's all for today. I'm I'm good now when it comes to being able to stock up on main stuff. So now all the other things come in. And then I'm I can go around and do that for the other main areas. I can take a look if the asteroid station is still uh still standing. Um I can go to Dune again, see what's up there, and maybe sort something out for... I need to take a look of a, a look if Object 85... I think Object 85 has uranium. So we could bring in uranium from there too. Ooh, I need to... Yeah, I need to get around and and do stuff like that I, it's uh, uh, I don't know I'm I'm <laughs> it's so weird that I'm still enjoying this this crazy just messed up world that <laughs> that is has no play plan no rhyme or reason good people I say thanks for watching for today um, hope you liked this episode. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And I say I hope to see you in the next one. See ya, guys.